Hey guys, it's Terry with the Black Republican Theory. And on today's show, I'm going to talk about the government and how we're on our own. And so first, before I get into it, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. So yesterday, Memorial Day, um, a video came out where Brandon Scott, uh, the mayor of Baltimore, was saying pretty much to the effect that the citizens of Baltimore need to step up and do their own part you know go out and you know police their own streets go out and um you know uh force the media to pretty much um stop spreading what he called uh misinformation false narratives that the city is more violent than it actually is and pretty much just you know he said it for lack of better words we are on our own we are on our own just over my shoulder here, you can see down the street, the grass is over three feet high. I've been fighting that fight for a man, maybe uh, maybe about two months to just get the freaking grass cut here in the city. The mayor can't even do that. He's incompetent. I happened to see that, you know, his father's company car was out here earlier. I don't know if they were scoping out the place. I don't know whatever else. I don't want to make myself seem more important than I actually am. But I have been making a lot of noise about the fact that they have been trashing black owned neighborhoods because guess what? The Democrats don't care about black people. And you know what? It, just to show some evidence of it, Joe Biden has been in office for two and a half, two years. Um, he's been uh, vice president of the United States, you know, for eight years. But guess what? There was no substantive policy specifically for black people. And while I'm on that topic, let's talk about the fact that, you know, the Buffalo massacre happened mm, two weeks ago. And there's been no policy like an anti-black hate crime bill in the same way there were for other communities. And it, there has been no passing mention about that in specific, specific tangible policies that black people will be able to benefit from. And I'm not saying that any of the Republicans have created better, better policies in that regards because they have not. Let's just be honest about that. But the Democrats who get and garner uh, garner about 80 to 90 percent of the black vote, they're just collecting the black vote without even, you know, working for it at this point. And actually, I just say that black people, as you keep on voting for these same lame old politicians, you're getting the policy that you deserve, the type of policies that you voted for and that you have allowed and that and you know these com these politicians are going to continue to show you who they are and you have to believe them the first and second times that they do it shouldn't even get to a second time the first time that they don't even you know follow the organizations of which you put forward there are many organizations like black guns matter and the national association uh, uh, of african-american or national african-american gun owners association or even the uh, Black Guns Matter, you know, shout out to all those organizations who are advocating for policy. No one has ever reached out to them. No one has reached out to Dr. Claude Anderson and the policies that he puts out. But guess what? You know what? These people just keep getting in office and, you know, people on the ground level, like here in Baltimore, we're suffering. Right. And so while I'm also on the topic of, you know, just they don't really care about us. Let's also, let's also talk about the fact that there are 21 people who are leaving, 21 black people that are leaving the White House staff right now. That's called a mass ex exodus. A lot of people are heading to the hills before, you know, midterm elections even show up. Why is that? That could be because, quite frankly, they already see Biden for who and what he is. And there's probably an unwelcoming environment for them already. And they're just starting to see that they don't want their names continue to be tarnished by all of this. Now, while we're also on this topic, let's keep on talking. Let's bring it back home to Baltimore City and the fact that Brandon Scott literally got up there and said that it's the media's fault. The media is not going out there and shooting people, Brandon. The media is not. It's these other criminals who are out there who have access to guns yet you want to get sit up here and try to regulate law-abiding citizens and uh, our right to use guns that's not that's not that's that doesn't make any sense hello how you doing i'm fine that doesn't make any sense at all and so i just hope that you know what 
I hope that Baltimore City and I hope that Maryland really has an awakening. I hope that the people in this country really have an awakening. I sense a red wave coming up. I sense a, real, a red wave coming up. And you know what? They keep on trying to blame this on bots and Russia collusion and, you know, white supremacy or whatever else. No, it's just that people are waking up because they're fed up. They're waking up and they're fed up and they're here to come and take back, you know, what is theirs. If they're paying taxes like I do, if they get up and they work as hard as I do, they are fed up up of allowing our streets to be taken over by criminals that fed up of allowing just anybody over the border meanwhile you and, and sending 40 billion dollars over to countries abroad while meanwhile you can't even take care of your streets here in the city potholes all over the damn place busted up tire, tires and rims because you got potholes the size of a goddamn crater and you can't fix that but meanwhile meanwhile your schools are sitting 21 schools got dismissed today because they didn't have any air conditioning and it's what 94 degrees 95 degrees i think my car said 97 actually and your school ceo is making over four hundred thousand dollars four hundred thousand dollars okay and we're supposed to just sit here and take it all right all right you're going to find out elections are coming up for the state delegates and the city council elections are coming up in 2024 the maryland republican party and the baltimore city republican party are going to fight like hell to get more and more votes i don't think that they're going to take it but they're going to make a dent in the next election because quite frankly people are fed up and you got a lot of black people who are leaving and voting for they're either voting with their feet leaving the city they're going to start voting republican or they're going to just start voting for third parties to get the hell to, to, to send a message and get the hell out of the two party duopoly that's been running things because we need better options. And Brandon Scott and Joe Biden are not it. In fact, I think they're public enemy number one in terms of ruining this country, ruin this country and ruining the city of Baltimore. And let's not even get started on the state's attorney and her husband. OK, how do you have the city council president and the state's attorney both elected to the same positions and both under criminal uh, investigations or ethics investigations? And the people of Baltimore are allowing this. Actually, you know what? I take back the statements I said before. Maybe the people of Baltimore, the voters of Baltimore want this. They want this dysfunction and they deserve it if they want that. But I can tell you this one here, the fellas that I know, especially the ones on this block, we're seeing, we're seeing that every day. We're seeing that every day. We're waking up, we're coming out our front doors, getting in our cars to go to work. And we see the inept and stupid ass city government that's not functioning. And people are getting sick and tired of being sick and tired. And that's my message to the Democrats and my message to really the rest of America, whoever want to fucking listen. All right, I'm out. Please, guys, like, share, comment and subscribe. Thanks.